truly today, Ellen. You know I always like to be with you. Uh, you been in yet? No, not yet. I think I'll just sit in the sun for a while. How about you, Jenny? Oh, I'm just waiting with Anne. Well, uh, have fun. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. You know, I really don't see what Frank sees in Ellen. She's not very pretty. Oh, she's kind of cute. You know, when I used to date Frank, he used to like me more than I liked him. Yeah? Yeah, that's the way it is with two people. One always cares more for the other. I don't quite understand. What's your point? Well, Frank's finally got a girl who likes him more than he likes her. Well, good for Frank. Look, are you still sorry that he's not going out with you anymore? Listen, Jennifer, I could really care less. Hi, Anne. How's the dumbest girl in our geometry class? Get lost, Bert. Well, excuse me. Come on, Ernie, let's get out of here before Anne really gets nasty. How come you're so hard on Anne? Didn't you used to date her? Date her? Man, let me tell you about her. What you got against Bert? Last summer you thought he was really great. Oh, he's just a big dumb jack. On our first date, he took me to some terrible movie at the drive-in. Well, like, almost right after we got there, he started coming on real strong. That shouldn't bother you. You're no prude. No, but he just grabbed me without saying anything. He didn't even give me a chance to find out if I liked him. I mean, I like a guy to have some sensitivity towards me. He doesn't have to be Sir Walter Raleigh with all that courtesy stuff. But I'm not going to let him jump all over me. Your uh, mother uh, almost didn't let you go with me today, did she? Well... Why doesn't she like me? It's not that she doesn't like you. You know my mother. She didn't let me start dating until I was 15. What's her problem, anyway? She doesn't trust boys, I guess. She doesn't trust boys, or she doesn't trust you? A little of both, I guess. It's... It's hard to understand parents sometimes. It sure is. Come on. Let's get wet. with 6, 10, 16. Anne, Jenny, I knew you'd be here today. Yeah, isn't it great? Everybody's here, Dory, Frank and Alan, Ernie and Bert, and Anne, everybody. Great. I knew there'd be a good group here today. Look, Dory, I'm going to get something, G. You want anything? I'd love something cold to drink, if you have enough money. Oh, sure. But remember to ask that when you see a steak on the menu. I'll be right back, honey. Hey, do you want to go to the movies with Jennifer and me tonight? I mean, if you're not too tired after swimming. I can't, Ann. I'm going out with Cliff tonight. He's taking me to dinner and then to the auto show. Are just the two of you going? Just the two of us. You must really get him to spend the money on you. Wow, dinner and the auto show? No, I don't. Today's special. We've been going together for six months now. We're going to celebrate our anniversary and do it up there. 
we usually just do simple things. Just talk and be by ourselves. Being together is enough for Cliff and me. Okay, okay. Just that I know the auto show is expensive. I know. And I don't even really want to go. It's just that Cliff wants me to. But sometimes he takes me places just because I want to go. It all evens out. Hey, man. Hey, Cliff. How come ugly you get such a nice girl as Dory? Because I treat all women good. It's no wonder you can't get dates except with girls from other schools. Hey, Ann, I saw Frank here today, and he's with Ellen. Whatever happened between you two? Oh, that's a long story. And I got plenty of time. Hey, I got you a hot dog, too, honey. I thought you might be hungry. I am hungry. Thanks, Cliff. Well, try to take care of my woman. You two will be here for a while, won't you? Sure. Okay. See you later. Then. Okay. Cliff always seems to say the right thing, doesn't he? Yeah, but most guys never have anything to say. You know, if girls didn't do the talking, boys would just stand around with their mouths hanging open. You could be right. Listen, I know I'm right. The only thing boys can talk about besides sex or, or sports is cars. Dory, I don't think you really want to go to the auto show tonight. Well, looking at a bunch of cars really isn't my idea of fun. But I know you like it. And besides, maybe I'll learn something. Okay. But when we go, I don't want you to complain about it. I won't complain. You didn't. When you took me to the movie I wanted to see. All right. And we won't stay real long. Jim, you must cheat. She doesn't have to cheat to beat you, Ann. What do you mean by that, Bert? Oh, nothing. Hey, weren't you in my history class? Mm -hmm. I sat over by the window. Yeah, I, I thought you were in my class. Say, would you like to swim out to the sandbar with me? Sure, but I have to buy some front hand lotion before the stand closes. Well, all right. Then I'll meet you by the lifeguard tower in a little while. Okay, I'll be there in about ten minutes. And you don't mind, do you? Of course not. Why should I mind? You went out with someone. Maybe you don't think I should. Just go. My parents didn't even want me to start to date until I was much older. But you know, you go to school and... and it just seems normal to start going out. You're right. Here, let me help you with it. Thanks, I always burn my back. Well, my parents... they're pretty nice about me going out. I guess they figured what I did was pretty much up to me. You're just lucky. My parents finally gave in. But they didn't like it. They still don't. <laughs> you remember when I was telling you about my sister when we were driving over? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of worried about her. Yeah? Yeah, she's a smart girl. She looks good. Dress is real good, too. But she's always going out with a group of kids. She never goes out with just one guy. Well, maybe she just doesn't like to date that way. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, she's old enough. She should be going out. Besides, I was even younger when I started going out with guys. But, well, people are different. Maybe I shouldn't expect her to do what I did. Maybe guys don't ask her out. Well, do you think it'd be okay if... Maybe she asked a guy to go out to the movies or something? I don't think that would be good. Guys usually do the asking. Oh, that's old-fashioned. 
No, it isn't. I hope you're a little hungry. Spanish. What's so funny? What's the matter? I was just thinking. About what? Remember the first time we went out? We went to a drive-in for something to eat. I remember. Do you remember how it was at first? It was really bad. We couldn't even think of anything to say. I was thinking about a lot of things, but I was afraid you might not be interested, so I didn't say anything. Well, you didn't eat much either. I wasn't very hungry. I was too nervous to eat. I really wanted you to like me. I still don't understand what's so funny. I ordered a chocolate shake. Don't you remember? I can imagine how funny it looked. I must have spilled half of it all over my shirt. That was a bad situation. But it sure gave us something to talk about. <laughs> but it really opened me up. I really started chattering. Maybe I talked too much. No, you didn't. You know when to listen. That's what made me feel good with you. You're one of the most open people I know. How come you're all alone? Jennifer went in swimming with Bert. Cliff and I are going in. You want to join us? No, thanks. Maybe later. Okay. See you later, then. Frank, you've always been honest with me. You always will be, won't you? Sure. Why do you think my mother doesn't like you? Mind if I join you? I, uh... Don't want to break up the game. Hi, Bill. Did you come with Bert and Ernie? No, I came up by myself. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just fooling around. Hey, do you play gin rummy? Yeah. I'm terrible at it. I keep forgetting how to win. <laughs> What she does, or tries to be. She just has to be herself. Be natural. How much are face cards? Oh, they're ten, and aces are one. But you can knock with less than ten. Uh oh. I'm really glad we got together today. Well, you never seem to notice me in history class. That's probably because I'm always asleep. Dan, uh, is there any chance I could take you out some night? Maybe. Why don't you ask me? And another dating relationship begins. It's a relationship that involves shared feelings. You know when to listen. That's what made me feel good with you. Your attitudes will be influenced by other dating you've done. She should be dating. Why, well, she's old enough. I was even younger when I started going out with guys. And your parents will make a difference, directly or indirectly. You're, uh... Your mother almost didn't let you go with me today, did she? There will be money to consider. He must really spend a lot of money on you. Dinner and the auto show. Your willingness to be open is involved. You never seem to notice me in history, class. And honesty will be important. Well, looking at a bunch of cars really isn't my idea of fun. But I know you like it. And besides, Maybe I'll learn something. 
Dating is a testing ground for your emotions and feelings. He just grabbed me without saying anything. He didn't even give me a chance to find out if I liked him. Dating is a step in helping you learn to build a meaningful and lasting relationship with another person.